Welcome to Mbakwa Phosphate Academy. Once more, I am your brother Mbakwa Jonas Tata, popularly known as Mbakwa Phosphate. This is our 30 minutes of chemistry with Mbakwa Phosphate Academy. Remember, we bring the classroom right into your home. We bring the classroom right into your bedroom. You can get up and walk with Mbakwa Phosphate at any time that you like. You can walk with us in the office. You can walk with us in your room. You can walk with us at home at any time. Mbakwa Phosphate Academy is working tirelessly to see that you become an expert in chemistry. Today we will be looking at nomenclature, organic chemistry. So the compounds are named following the UPAC system. UPAC means International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry System is an internationally recognized institution that gives us rules and regulations on how to name compounds. The following rules are used. We are going to use the following rules. Rule number one. The longest continuous carbon chain is selected and named according to the parent arcane. So you can see very clearly here that the longest carbon chain here, we can get the longest carbon chain here. From here, so we come from here one, two, three, four. We get the longest chain. Come from here one, two, three, four. We see the longest chain. We come from here one, two, three. We have that is three is lower than four. So we have one, two, three, four. So the longest chain for this compound is four carbon atom. So the longest continuous carbon chain is selected and named according to the parent arcane. So for this compound, we have four. So the name of this compound is going to start with build. One, two, three, four. So the Greek prefix we use is build. It will be build. So the name of this compound on carbon number two, as we are coming to see, we see two, two, Dimethyl build thing. That is the name of the compound. 2 2 dimethyl butane. But we are going to see how it happens. My main concern here is just to let you know that you need to locate the longest chain. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is your longest chain. Number two. The carbon atoms are numbered in order to indicate the position of any functional group or substituent. So we are going to number the carbon atoms from left to right and from right to left to be able to get the position of any functional group or substituent. The numbering is such that the functional group should have the lowest number possible. Our functional group is going supposed to have the lowest number possible. Okay, look at this compound. This is an arcane. This compound is an arcane. And for us to locate the longest chain, we have one. Let me highlight. Or let me use the pen. We have one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. No. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so you see, this compound is a butane. But in this case, we have one, two, three, four. On carbon number two, there is a methyl group. On carbon number three, we also see a substituent. So two, three are carrying a substituent. So we can name this compound as two, three, di methyl butane is an arcane butane as simple as that but we are going to see that this compound is an arcane remember when we look at the functional group in the last lesson if you have not followed my lecture on identifying different functional group then you are expected to go and look at uh, organic chemistry one uh, we are now in organic chemistry too. Remember I said we are going to look at nomenclature in our next class. So you are supposed to know that the arcane do not carry any special functional group. What is a functional group? A functional group is an, a group of atom or atoms or a bond that is going to determine the, uh, the chemical and physical properties of a homologous series. So, for the arcane, we said they did not really have a specific functional group, but the carbon atoms, the carbon skeleton, are actually linked to each other and hydrogen by single covalent bonds. If you look at this compound, what is this compound? Look at this compound. Can you identify the compound? Because this compound, if you have looked at functional group, you observe that this is the same like atom this is the this part this whole part like this is the same like arrow and this other part like this is the same like arrow prime so you see that this is the same like the functional group of the ketones this is the same like the functional group of the ketones so what type of molecule is this and how would you name it so look at this is a functional group of the ketones so if you don't know the functional group we will not be able to name the compound correctly are you understanding now you see look at this is arrow and this is arrow prime and you see that this is carbon linked to a double bond this is a ketone so how do we name this compound one two three four now you observe that on uh, as a number from one to number four the ketone functional group here this ketone functional group is having three but it will number from here from right to left one two it has two so one two three four is a butane two on butane two on to tell us that the on group which is this group this group is on carbon number two you see we are respecting the rule of nomenclature we are given the functional group the lowest number possible What about this group? The same, right? This is the ketone, ketone. This is the ketone functional group. Now look at this. Look at this other group here. This compound. This compound is. Look at this group. This compound. Here is a carboxylic acid functional group. If you don't know that this is a carboxylic acid functional group, you will not be able to name the compound. You will not be able to know that this is what we call ethanoic acid. This is our ethanoic acid. That's why I took time to explain to you all the functional group. This is ethanoic acid. Now, you, if you don't know this, you will not be able to name the compound. All right, look at this other compound. 
Yeah, you see this compound? We have number from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this compound, this compound, this compound, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this compound is also an acid. This compound is an acid. And you can see that it is simply 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pentanoic acid pentanoic acid when it is five carbon atoms we call we use the Greek prefix pent when it is four we use the Greek prefix build all right so we see this compound what is this compound this is another functional group can you remind us of the functional group this functional group as we looked at yesterday has a specific name what is the name of that functional group? What is the name of the functional group? As we saw yesterday, where we have NH2. That functional group, we call it the primary amines. It is amino or amine. Yes. That is how the prefix, as we said yesterday, the prefix in organic chemistry 1, the prefix will have to be amino or amine. So it is. this is a primary amine. You can see this other compound. You see a double bond. You see another double bond. So I'm going to name this compound. We will number from carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4, and five so this compound on carbon number one is this other functional group this is the functional group of the alkene here on carbon number three there is another functional group this is the functional group of the alkene so how do we therefore name this compound it's simple you see that we are going to have one three you can start the nomenclature by counting there are five you simply say paint one three dying because there are two two functional group of the arcane so it is paint one three dying that is what how we name that compound so you are seeing we are going to proceed to the next point under point two now you see that when more than one substituent or functional group are present in a compound they are named alphabetically yes they are named alphabetically meaning that if you have this group c h3 is methyl group if you have the nitro group, you see that alphabetically, you have this group of the halogens is called the chloro. So you see, alphabetically, we are going to see that C comes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N. M comes before N. So this will be one, two, three. No, M N one, two, three. So the chloro group will come before the methyl group, which will come before the nitro group. That's what we mean by when more than one substituent or functional group are present in a compound, they are named alphabetically. The next thing to note is that when the substituent or functional group are the same and at different carbon atoms if they are the same and are different carbon atoms the numbers of carbon atoms are indicated separated by comma while the multiplying prefixes ditritetra are used to represent two three four respectively what do we mean here it's very important if we look at a molecule like this On carbon number two, 
we have a methyl group. On carbon number three, another methyl group. We say that we say that when the group substituent or functional group are the same, if the functional group are the same or substituent are the same, you see, this is a substituent methyl group. This is a substituent methyl group attached on carbon number two and carbon number three. They are the same and are at different carbons. They are on carbon number two and carbon number three. Now, we say that the number of carbon atoms are indicated. So in naming this compound, we have two comma three. You see, I'm separating two and three by a comma. The number of carbon atoms are indicated, separated by comma, Why the multiplying prefix is di, tri. Since there are two, it means there are two. So I will use di, and the, the substituent is called methyl the longest chain is one two three four butane methyl butane that is the compound so this compound is two three dimethyl butane you can see very clearly so why the multiplying prefix is di tri tetra we have respected di means there are two of this methyl group and butane means the longest chain here contain four carbon atoms two three on carbon number two there's a methyl group on carbon number three there is another methyl group when the substituent or functional group are the same and at different carbon atoms the number of the carbon atoms are indicated separated we have seen that If the substituent or functional group repeat on the same carbon atom, the carbon atom number is written repeatedly. The number as times, the number of times it occurs, followed by the corresponding prefix. Let me explain this. We are now talking in a situation where we have a compound as such. Imagine we have this compound. On this same carbon, there is a methyl group on this same carbon there is a methyl group how then do we name this compound in the UPAC system of nomenclature we will locate the longest chain possible one two three and you observe that on carbon number two there is this methyl group so we have two command on carbon number two again there is another methyl group you repeat the two again to show that there is one two methyl group on the same carbon atom if the substituent or functional group repeat on the same carbon atom the carbon atom number is written repeatedly repeatedly you can see the term repeatedly we write it repeatedly the number of times it occurs the number of times it will occur followed by the corresponding Greek prefixes so we separate the word from the letters by a hyphen so it is die methyl dimethyl propane because the longest chain there is three dimethyl propane that is how we name that compound when both alkyl group and functional group are present in the compound priority is in numbering is given to the functional group all right let me give you an example of such a compound let me take an alkene oh sorry but a long line let me write this way let me remove the line Good. Look at this compound. Let me get back my pain. Now look at this compound.
Now, this compound, you observe that if I have to look at the longest chain, I can count from one, two, three, four. Now, if I start counting from the left, if I go this way, it's still four. Coming down this way, it's still four. So, one, two, three, four. Now, look at something. If I start from up, the nomenclature of look seems to give me one. The position of the functional group here, this double bond here, represent that this is an arcane. This is an arcane. Now, the presence of this substituent, this metric group, and this other metric group, they are all substituents that are attached on carbon number three. So how do I name this compound now? Am I going to give the lowest number but to the functional group or to the substituent? And rules of nomenclature simply explain that I am going to give the I'm going to give the lowest number possible but to the functional group. So the nomenclature up is the right nomenclature. So for me to name that compound, I start from up. So I will now indicate the substituent on carbon number three, and on carbon number three again, we have a dimethyl but but. You see now on carbon number one, there is that in group. Remember the suffix when we're looking at the arcane, the suffix was that there must be a double bond and the prefix was that there must be in in e n e the arcane a n e is replaced by e n e each functional group point number three each functional group or substituent is named and added to the parent arcane we have seen that already root that is what we call the root We want to look at exercise 9 to test if you can name organic compounds. Name the following compounds. Now look at this compound. CH3, CH, CH2, CH. Look at the structure. This is the structure. So you see that on we can name this compound 1, 2, Three, four. We look at the longest chain. One, two, three. No, that's not the longest chain. One, two, three, four. On carbon number two, that's an arcane. There is a metric group. So the name of this compound is simple. Is simply two methyl. Two methyl butane. Two methyl butane. As simple as that. Look at this other compound. This compound we want to bring out the structure. CH3 means carbon is linked to three hydrogen. As such, connect by a covalent bond to another carbon which is linked to hydrogen but again linked to another hydrogen we are now here CH2 now this carbon is linked to another carbon by a covalent bond which is having a hydrogen but in this case is having but chlorine and then it is linked now to another CH2 group would mean that there are two of them there. There are two of them there. These two CH2 group means you should repeat the two. I've just repeated them now. And now this CH3 is this carbon linked to hydrogen, linked to hydrogen, linked to hydrogen. How do we name this compound? Simple. Look at the longest chain. One, two, three four five six now number is such a way that a substituent because this is an again the substituent should have the lowest number possible one two three on carbon number three i have the chlorine here which is a substituent now on carbon number if i name from up one 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ऑन कार्बन नंबर फोर आई हैव क्लोरीन सो आई गिव द लोवेस्ट नंबर पॉसिबल टू दिस क्लोरीन सो द डाउन एंड नोमेक लेटर्स इज द एक्सेप्टेबल वन सो आई वुड हैव थ्री क्लोरो थ्री क्लोरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स हेक्स जे थ्री क्लोरो हेक्सेन ऑन कार्बन नंबर थ्री देर इज ए सब्सिट्रेन व्हिच इज ए क्लोरो सब्सिट्रेन लेट्स लुक एट दिस अदर कंपाउंड नाउ आई वांट वी हैव टू ओपन द कंपाउंड टू सी इट क्लियरली For the first carbon is linked to three hydrogen atoms by three covalent bonds. For the second carbon is linked to a hydrogen atom but in this case linked to Now in this case linked to a chlorine atom And again we are now somewhere we have already did one two carbon we are now here here that carbon atom is now linked to another carbon atom that carbon atom is linked to hydrogen and then linked now to another group which is the oh group which is the oh now again that compound is linked to we are now here here is linked to c h 2 which again is linked to ch in this case linked to iodine and then linked to hydrogen 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 now after bringing out this compound like we can name it quickly we number the carbon atoms from left to right and from right to left we are going to see this is chloro This compound is chloro. This particular substrate is chloro. This other substrate is hydroxy. This other substrate is iodo. So what is the name of this compound? Now we say in our rules of nomenclature, we give the compound the lowest number possible. The we we give the functional group the lowest number possible in this case this and arcane so the functional group will not really be as important as in the case of arcane and the rest now but here this compound the substrate we have chloro so it will number from 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we see that we will have two chloro Three hydroxyl, five iodo, exe, five iodo hexe. So the name of this compound is two chloro three hydroxyl five iodo hexe. Now you can see very clear. very clear that you can see very clear that uh i want to uh, erase this exam so that you can see where you can see very clear that the d 
different substituents, the different substituents, the different substituents, iodo, exam. Now you can see very clear that the different substituents are named alphabetically. Alphabetically, C come before H, H come before I. This is a different homologous series. To name this compound, you must bring out the structure on the first carbon hydrogen, 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 the second carbon hydrogen, hydrogen. The third carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, OH. When you see this OH, it already tells you about a certain functional group. We saw yesterday when we were looking at functional group, arrow OH. The name of this compound is going to end with O. It is called an alcohol. It's a different homologous series. A homologous series is a family of closely related compounds with similar chemical properties. Successive members differ from each other by the addition of a CH2 group. So the name of this compound will be numbered. We number the carbon atom such that the functional group, which is the OH, is given to the lowest number possible. If we are looking at from up, one, two, three, we will look from down. Remember, one, two, three. And you see, uh, the, the num if we take the one down, we see that the nomenclature from down shows that on carbon number 3, the OH will be attached. Then when we look from up, we see that the cap from up on carbon number 1, the OH, which one, the OH is attached. Which one is lower? One is lower than 3. So the nomenclature up is acceptable. So it will be proper. Because there are three carbon atoms, is prop, pan, one, up. When we come to looking at different homologous series, we'll still repeat this nomenclature, but we just want to get a quick overview of how we name organic compounds. Now, of course, if you look at this compound, you see that the OH has simply come on carbon number two. So this will be propan 2 r on carbon number two. There is an all group. If we look at this nomenclature, if I not open this compound, compound F, you will observe that this is a hydrogen, this is a hydrogen, double bond, carbon hydrogen, C, hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. All right, now, so you see, what is the functional group here? The functional group here is the arcane, arcane functional group. Remember, we saw that when there is a carbon to carbon double bond, it is called an arcane. So we number this compound from left to right to give the lowest number to the functional group. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, built. One in is built one in, built one in, or what we call butane. As simple as that, built one in, or what we call butane. If you look at this other compound, you observe that we have one, two, three, four. But on this same carbon number 4, there's a methyl group. So, if I have to write out this compound, we can see clearly that we will have carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. That's the first carbon there. The second carbon is linked to a hydrogen, but linked to a CH3. The third carbon is linked to a hydrogen but linked to a CH3 and the fourth we are here and the fourth carbon 
is simply linked to three hydrogen atoms. So one, two, three, four. Good way it goes. One, two, three. So on carbon number two, and on carbon number three, there is a methyl group. So it's a dimethyl. One, two, three, four. Build. Ten. It's a dimethyl beauty. So you see very clearly, it's a dimethyl beauty. What about this other compound? Can you try to name this compound? Always stop and name the compound before you follow the teacher's nomenclature. C H2 I prefer to have hydrogen here hydrogen here then there is a bond there is this chlorine here this chlorine is now here this bond links the carbon to this other carbon atom which is linked to a CH3 group linked to another CH3 group all right we have a hydrogen here a hydrogen here and an OH here can you imagine so this compound is named as an alcohol because of the presence of this OH so how do we name the compound we number it from left to right to give the functional group the lowest number possible. So on carbon number one, there is this OH group. On carbon number two, there is a methyl group. There is also a methyl group on the same carbon. And there is this chlorine, the chloro group on carbon number three. But chlorine comes before methyl so the name of that compound will be three chloro two two dimethyl there are four carbon atoms so it's a butan excuse me i have to erase something Butan. Butan. All right. Is a butan. One O. Butan one O. So that is a compound. Butan one O. All right. Now look at this compound. The names of saturated or unsaturated compound with this point for in nomenclature. When Bapa Foster will bring the classroom right to you, right to your room, you can work with us during your break period, during snap, anytime. As soon as it's, if you have your Android phone, you have anything that can connect to internet, subscribe to Mbakwa Foster Academy. You always have an update of our videos. The name of saturated or unsaturated compounds with one or more rings start with cyclo. This is an interesting part. Cyclo. Can you imagine that? This is, look at, one, two, three, four. You see, it's saturated. When we say saturated, it means that the carbon to carbon bonds are all singled. One, two, you see, all single bonds. We can represent this structure the same like this. So, for us to name this compound, it is cyclobutane because there are four carbon atoms. One, two, three, four. We can represent it simply like this. It's a cyclobutane. Now here, you see when the carbon, there are three. One, two, three. So it's a cyclopropane. You can see this other compound here. You can see this other compound here. Let me highlight so that you understand it. Look at this compound. We have one, two, three, four. It's a cyclobutane again. Look at one, two, three, four, five. This is a cyclopentane. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cyclohexane. All these are arcane. 
So the name of saturated or unsaturated compound with one or more rings start with cyclo. Yes, it start with cyclo. That's good. Start with cyclo. So don't be confused with the name we call cyclo and the rest. Start with cyclo. If it is a ring, you see the example there. Even here, look at this is one two. One two dimethyl. One two three four five. Stand here. One two three four five. So we have one comma two. Dimethyl. 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 Cyclo. Pentane. Dimethyl. Cyclo. Pentane. So it's a dimethyl. This is di. That is di. This is D. Dimethyl cyclopentane. So the name of saturated or unsaturated compound with one or more rings start with cyclo. Okay. We proceed. These are all cyclo compounds. So one, two, three, cyclopropane. One, two, three, four, cyclobutane. One, two, three, four, five, cyclopentane. One, two, three, four, five, six, cyclohexane. What is the name of this compound? Now? Cyclohexane. The name of this compound is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's called cyclo hexene. This is the cyclo hexene. You can see very clear. Each carbon is linked to two hydrogen atoms, and that's the formula of the cyclo hexene. Now, what is the name of this compound? Look at this compound. This compound can be named as on carbon. Number one, we have a methyl group, comma, on carbon number two, another methyl group. So this compound is called one, two, dimethyl. One, two, dimethyl. One, two, dimethyl. Cyclohex one e. O cyclohexene. Yes, that's the nomenclature. Cyclohexene. Simple as that. Look at this compound. This compound, we can name this compound 1, 2. Methyl group. This is a methyl group. And this is the chloro group. So this compound, we start by naming the chloro. We start by naming the chloro. So it this compound can be named as one one chloro. Let me take away this. One Chloro two methyl cyclo exit one chloro two methyl cyclo exit. That is the name of that compound. Number five for aromatic compounds, the names are derived from the parent benzene. Remember. 
When we talk about aromatic compounds, we talk about the benzene. And of course, when we come to the benzene, the aromatic compounds as a homologous series, we we'll explain that the Kekule structure, this Kekule structure has not been accepted, but we see that the benzene is more stable than the Kekule will predict. So this is the benzene. So for aromatic compounds, the names are derived from the parent benzene. The carbon atoms in the ring are numbers starting from the carbon carrying the principal functional group. Yes, for aromatic compounds. Look at A. This is an aromatic compound. How do we know name this compound? How do we name this compound? This compound is easy to name. Look at the compound. On carbon number one. Yeah, yeah. Carbon number one and carbon number two. So on carbon number one, we have a chloro. So it's one chloro. On carbon number two, we have a methyl group. Two methyl. Of course, the ring is benzene. It's an aromatic compound. So the name of that compound is 1 chloro 2 methyl benzene. We are in a different hom a, 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 a homologous series already. Look at this other compound. So the name of this compound will be 1 chloro 3 methyl. You understand? 1 chloro 3 methyl benzene. Oh, it's as simple as simply naming the compound as a compound can be named as chloro tulane. It can be named as chloro tulane. Or you name it as 1 chloro 1 2 3 3 methyl benzene 3 methyl benzene that is the name of that compound 1 chloro 3 methyl benzene now look at this compound up here what is the name of this compound this compound we see that there is a, a, an iodo group here there is a methyl group here there is a chloro group here so we start by one two three so what would be the name of this compound the name of that compound will be one chlor chlor c come before before M and also before I. So one chloro three iodo two methyl benzene. As simple as this. That's the name of compound C here. This is B. Name of compound B is this. This is B or this. And this is compound A here. Okay, so that is it. So you have one chloro, three iodo, two methyl benzene. Yes, alphabetically, we are following the rules of nomenclature. You can look at this compound. Look at this compound. This compound. 
There is a nitro group and there is a methyl group. So how do we name this compound? On carbon, it will name this compound as 1, 2, 3. Which one counts? This is methyl, this is the nitro group, and this is the chloro group. Can you imagine? This is the chloro group. So which one? This one comes first. Nitro. M N. M N. N comes before N. So the name of this compound will be one chloro. M N three methyl. Two nitro is a benzene. Two nitro benzene. As simple as that. That's the name of the compound. One chloro, two methyl, two nitro. Excuse me. One, two, three, four. One chloro in the place of that three is not two, please. The methyl group is on carbon number four. It's on carbon number four. So it is four methyl two nitro. Four methyl two nitro benzene. Yes, that is it. If we look at this compound, if we look at this compound, we see we have an iodine iod group here, chlorine group here, and we also have a methyl group here. It's the same compound we have already named up there, C. It's simply, that compound C is simply already named. Yeah, it's one chloro, one chloro, three, one, let me see. No, this compound is different. Look up. One, two, three. Let's name the compound. Here, let us call this compound, compound I. So we have one. No, we start with chlorine. One. Two. So we have one. Two, three, four. It will give us longer, long nomenclature. So we have one, two, three, four. Huh. So we start from here. One, two, three, four. Okay, it still give us the same, but we'll give this five. So the name of this compound will be one chloro. Four iodo three methyl benzene three methyl benzene. That's the name of that compound. That's the nomenclature for this compound I. Yes, that's the nomenclature for that compound I. As simple as I see that all of these compounds, they are going to carry benzene, 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 yes, because they are aromatic compounds. What about this compound? What about this compound? Now that is a, a benzene carboxylic acid. It's a benzene carboxylic acid. So you see, the nomenclature is going to give us, the functional group here is this carboxylic acid functional group. Remember that we saw in the functional group, when we look at functional group, that you have this group, this is the oil group, the oil group, or we can write it as COOH. So you see, this compound, therefore, we can name it as 3-methyl. 3 methyl benzene.
carboxylic acid. Trimethyl benzene carboxylic acid. That is the name of that compound. Trimethyl benzene carboxylic acid. Yes, that is the name of that compound. Next compound. Draw the structures of the following compounds. Remember that we want to be as we want to be as uh, you know uh, uh, serious as you are, and we want to even give you assignment and to know that when you have this assignment, the first fifty students that send us the answer, we are always going to have two hours free classes with these students. As soon as we receive your answers, you have our contact. Put the structure of the following. Draw the structure of the following. Benzene 1, 2, dicarboxylic acid. 3, 4, dimethyl, 2, 2, dimethyl, heptane. 4, carboxyl, methyl, heptane, dioic acid. 3, 4, diethyl, 2, 2, dimethyl, heptane. 2, hydroxyl, propanoic acid. Thank you so much for being there. You can always contact us on WhatsApp 67995-3185. You can contact us on 677-832852-6644632757. You can email us at mbakwaphosphate at gmail.com. It was nice working with you. Hope you did enjoy the lesson. If you did, consider subscribing so that in each of our videos, you will be able to quickly be reminded. Also do well to share to students. Send them to students. I would like to hear your comments. If you are a colleague watching, I would like you to comment. We want to learn more. I want to do more research. Remember, Barker Phosphate is working tirelessly and reading the textbook. Sometimes you see difficult to read, both online and offline, looking for all the possibilities to help you out to be a master of chemistry. Thank you. I remain your humble servant, Barker Jonas Statham, and popularly called Barker Phosphate. Thank you. Thank you.